Have you ever thought about the foods that you eat? Foods that you can find in wet markets or supermarkets? Vegetables, fruits, canned products, anything that you can find. Well, with the presence of genetically modified foods, there may be more to what you eat than meets the eye. GM Foods, genetically modified foods with altered DNA created to fit the needs of consumers in the process of selective breeding, a process of selecting or adding particular traits to the food to make it consumer friendly. But how does this scientific modification process really happen? Modified organisms are created using biotechnology to change their genetic material. Genes are taken from one species and are forced into the DNA of another species, mixing and matching between a species that would not have interacted naturally. There are two main groups of genetically modified foods. Firstly, there's the herbicide tolerant crops, where you can spray them with herbicide and not kill them. Secondly, there are the pesticide producing crops. These plants can produce their own toxic insecticide where the pests die upon ingestion of the plants. The swapping of genes crosses the species barrier, creating new organisms that are not part of the evolutionary process. Techniques include benign bacterial or viral infection, gene splicing, gene silencing, and calcium phosphate precipitation. But very basically, you take a gene and you make millions of copies and then you put them into a gun. You then take this gun and shoot it in a plate containing millions of cells and then you take these cells and clone them into a plant. This technique of creating GM foods increases the possibility of mutation occurring in the DNA strand, thus leading to unpredictable side effects. With that sorted, let's see if the consumers know what they are really buying. Right, here we go. Hey guys, excuse me, can you tell me what you just bought? Oh, we bought tomatoes. We chose ones that look really red and fresh. You didn't know that some tomatoes are biotechnologically changed so they look a lot fresher and firmer, right? Oh, you mean GM foods. I hate them. I'm a vegetarian and I heard that some GM foods do contain animal genes. What, really? Isn't that ethically wrong? Exactly. So whenever I eat in a restaurant and have food prepared for me, I will never know whether there is animal genes in it. Well, for me, to be honest, I'm not really familiar with genetically modified food. But then if it's fresher and it's cheaper, well, I don't mind eating it. What? Not only is it unethical, but it's also unnatural. You'll never know what these artificially made foods can do to your body. Hmm, now that I think about it, I have read about this case called Flavor Saver, which is a modified genetically tomato that is sold in 1994. It caused an internal bleeding to rats. Hmm, now I have to be really, really careful whenever I go out and buy food. After that encounter with some surprisingly intelligent pedestrians, I visited a corporation that sells GM foods. Since you deal with genetically modified tomatoes, could you tell us a little more about them? Well, the tomatoes were the f amongst the first available genetically modified food. That's where it gets its firmness from. Isn't it amazing how science has enabled us to do all this? Well, you know what? It doesn't matter, because it's soft now. Genetically modified tomatoes are no longer available. Gene genetic modification in general enable crops to be produced in greater quantities, require less labor work, contain nutritional values such as vitamins, enable more efficient use of land, and most importantly, help the poorest of the poor create a sustainable future for themselves. So these modified tomatoes really are produced for the benefit of the consumers? Yes, definitely. 2.9 million deaths per year in Africa are solely hunger related, caused by an array an array of problems such as drought, which leads to harsh growing conditions, thereby preventing farmers from growing and maintaining crops. And this is where easily grown crops such as these genetically modified tomatoes come in. Other forms of aid have failed to prove as sufficient due to transportation issues and crop governments. Genetically modified foods is the solution. People often complain about the possible harms of genetically modified foods, but till this day, no allergic reaction or human health impacts have been directly caused by these foods. Sometimes people forget the possibility of genetically modified foods as a way of solving world hunger. To give us more of an idea of the health and safety issues identified with GM foods, we need an expert. Genetically modified foods must comply to the same health standards set for those foods which are not genetically modified. The process is very strict, ensuring that food products remain safe for consumption. In addition, all genetically modified foods imported to Hong Kong are tested to safety standards in their country of origin. Furthermore, no harmful effects have been shown so far amongst humans who have consumed genetically modified foods. One of the concerns that people have with genetically modified foods is that it can threaten the biodiversity of an environment. Scientists select certain genes which are preferable, and thus, a higher proportion of plants will have a smaller gene pool, reducing the biodiversity of the environment. 
With GM Foods in production now more than ever, we as citizens really need to speak our minds concerning the health, safety and environmental issues related with GM products. With GM Sorry! Are you filming right now? I can't tell. <laughs> we actually got sorted. Let's see if the consumers know what they are really buying. We got sorted. Let's see if the consumers know what they are really buying.